Welcome to this Our Heritage Week presentation of our project, the Rosses Point Coastal Way, based on this year's theme, Heritage and Education, Learning from Our Heritage. This presentation has been created by the members of the Rosses Point Coastal Way Steering Group on behalf of the general Rosses Point Coastal Way Project Group. We will introduce ourselves shortly. The Rosses Point Coastal Way Project produced a walking route marked by a series of nine interpretive panels located along the two kilometres of coastal path of Rosses Point in County Sligo in the northwest of the country. The way was developed as a community project to encourage the exploration and enjoyment of the natural, historical and cultural heritage of this beautiful area. Our idea for the development of the Rosses Point Coastal Way originally came from our shared appreciation of the rich heritage of the locality and our desire to share that with visitors and locals alike through the development of the route as an interpretive walking trail. A basic principle of our group was that the local community had to be centrally involved in the development of the trail so that they would take pride in it but also ownership of it into the future. We became the steering group of the Rosses Point Coastal Way project and we would like to introduce ourselves to you now and give you a brief outline of the who, what and how of our project. Sean Callaghy, I live in Rosses Point, walk regularly there and have a particular interest in nature, especially bird life. Gervla Gill, my family are from Rosses Point and I am principal of the local national school, Relt Namara. I have always had a great interest in the history of my home village. Martina Butler, I am a heritage specialist working in the Heritage Council's Heritage in Schools scheme and had previous experience of producing educational panels when I worked as an education officer with the National Parks and Wildlife Service. Once we had formed our group and had a basic idea of what we wanted to achieve and how to do that, we then set about bringing together the other groups and organisations that would play a vital role in the development of the project. The following is an outline of the role played by each of those groups in our project. Children attending the local primary school, Relth Namara. In order to involve the local community from the very early days of the project, we decided to engage local children in a planning for real event. The event was held in their school. The children were provided with basic information about the project idea and then facilitated to actively engage in various aspects of planning the Rosses Point Coastal Way. The children identified which aspects of their local heritage they wanted to have highlighted along the walking route. They were also supplied with large sheets of paper on which they designed various layouts for the panels. The children identified suitable locations for each of the interpretive panels by getting out with their clipboards and pencils and walking the coastal paths and then transferring those locations onto an oversized route map on their return to school. Rosses Point Tidy Towns We then invited the adult members of the local community to a similar Planning for Real event. As a result of this event, the Rosses Point Tidy Towns group came on board to support the project and helped source the funding that would eventually pay for the production of the interpretive panels. We approached our local authority, Sligo County Council, regarding permission to place the panels along the route. The council were very supportive of the project 
including supplying us with the resources necessary to install each of the nine panels. Local visitors and tourists. We were aware that the heritage of Ross's Point would also be of immense interest to a wide variety of people, including those with an interest in the famous Yeats brothers, artist Jack and poet W.B. Yeats, both of whom spent much of their childhood summers locally. The landscape and history of Ross's Point is reflected in their works. We decided to survey local visitors and foreign tourists to ascertain their thoughts and to get their suggestions in relation to the proposed project, as well as to find out what aspects of the area's heritage interested them most. The survey indicated an overwhelmingly positive response to the project proposal, as well as an even greater interest in all aspects of the area's heritage. The interest and enthusiasm for the project from visitors and the community alike was huge and a significant consensus emerged in their preferences for the various heritage elements to be included in the interpretive panels along the route. We, the steering group, met on a regular basis to fine-tune the various elements of the project integrate the contributions from the individuals, groups and organisations involved and decide how to present the resulting information and graphics in an interesting, succinct and accessible way. Most of the photographs, written content and the hand-drawn sketch map of the route were created by ourselves and other local contributors. However, for some images, like those of Jack B. Yeats paintings, old black and white photographs, and maps of the area, we had to get special permissions before we could include them on the panels. All of the information was presented in a child-friendly way. The text content of the panels was kept to a minimum, as we discovered that images were a much more effective way to share information. Where text was used, specific text styles and sizes were carefully chosen so as to make reading the content more accessible for those with reading difficulties, including dyslexia. The panels were designed as long boards, so that group or family members who were looking at the panels could view and discuss them with ease together. The panel height was kept low and the display angle at 45 degrees, so as to enable wheelchair users and children to easily access the material. The launch of the Rosses Point Coastal Way project took place in June of 2018. A wonderful event, it was enjoyed by both those who had been involved and others from the local community. The local newspapers gave the event generous colourful coverage and Sligo County Council continued to promote the walk through their website sligowalks.ie. sharing our experience. We, the members of the Rosses Point Coastal Way Steering Group, have gained a vast amount of skills, knowledge and experience through managing the project and would be willing to pass on what we have learnt to other communities considering undertaking such a project in the future. Primary schools are welcome to use the link on the screen to access an educational YouTube video called The Rocky Seashore. This video is based on information from one of the interpretive panels located close to the rock pools of Ross's Point. In this video, a young schoolgirl, Quiva, explores the plants and animals of the Rocky Seashore with myself, Martina. <laughs> 